Hi, it's Beth from Sweet Up Hair Design and I'm here today with Lorna Jade from LGH Beauty and welcome to our Halloween special. So Corinne here is going to be our zombie cheerleader. So I'm going to show you a really cute hairstyle and then Lorna's going to come and going to show you a really cute zombie, blood, whatever she's going to do. So I hope you like our video and don't forget you can subscribe by clicking the bottom right hand side of the screen. Okay, so to do this style, all I've done is I've just done a middle part and done a nice high pigtail on that side. I'm going to do the same on this side and I've also just left out a few little bits of hair at the front there. So next all I'm going to do is put in a little bit of red hair mascara. So you can get this from my website, sweetheartshair.com. So I'm just going to take random little bits of hair and just streak just a little bit through. So next I'm just going to take random bits of hair and use my little wand. I've had this wand forever and it's just one that I got from Tesco, just a cheap hair wand. But I love it. It gives a nice tight curl. I'm just going to hold it for a few seconds like that. Hold it up. And when the hair's nice and hot, I'm just going to release that. So next what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start to tease this hair because I want it to be kind of big, a bit crazy, messy, Halloween-y. So that's the hair finished, all crazy and back came. So now Lorna's going to come in and show you how to do zombie makeup. Okay, so we've applied a really, really pale foundation and we've brought it down the neck. You can do this all over your body if you like, but for the purpose of the tutorial, we're just going to do the face and neck today. And we're going to set that again with a white eyeshadow on the forehead, on the nose, upper lip and chin. Okay. So for the zombie look, we're not just going to go straight in with a black eyeshadow, we're going to do some purpley tones to make it, her eyes look quite red and sore. So as you can see, we've got sort of the bruised effect now. And then I'm going to use a flat brush like this, and we're going to use a brownie purple tone. And we're going to press that onto the eyelid. Okay, so eyes are done. Um, what we're going to do next is we're just going to apply a little bit of white cream makeup to the eyelashes. Would you just look down for me, Karen? Okay, so lips are looking pretty dead. I'm just gonna set that with a bone colored eyeshadow, like so. Not gonna bother with uh, any contouring of the face. Um, I just want the eyes to really stand out. And then we're gonna apply some blood. Okay, so now we've done the eyes, we're gonna apply some fake blood. This isn't your average Halloween blood. This is something that you can make yourself at home. And all this is, is golden syrup, chocolate sauce, and red food dye. And all you have to do is mix it together and you can change up the consistency, you can make it more runny, add water, you can make um, some blood uh, clots if you add a few coffee granules, it's entirely up to you. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna smudge it all over her mouth as if she's been having a good munch on a human, okay? So now 
we've got the blood, what I'm going to do is just put some brown eyeshadow in there. 